Hello and welcome back to the 2019 Pokemon Duel World Cup. Today we have a Group B matchup here between Peru and India. And if you guys saw last video, Malaysia lost three to nothing to Italy. So the winner of this matchup will go on to play the runner-up of Group C, and the loser of this matchup will go on to play the winner of Group C. So, both these teams have clinched a spot in the playoffs. Now, we're just deciding who's playing what player. So, what's up, guys? Earl Game YC coming back with another Pokemon Duel World Cup matchup. Today, we have Peru versus India. But before we start, I do have merch now. As you can see right there. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you guys are interested. And you can use code EARL for 10% off your purchase when you do when you check out. But let's hop right into this matchup right here. We have Achilles versus Kahlo. So this could be a really good matchup. Both these players were top, top I think, 20 players heading into this tournament. So let's see Achilles in blue, Kalil in red. Achilles starts by moving out his Celebi. Kalil will move out his Vibrava. As Achilles quickly takes the entry point with the Celebi, as he'll just take the goal point with the Vibrava. Very fast start for Achilles here, trying to rush him right out the gate. Looking to take an entry point as the as Kalil moves out his Vibrava or his Caldeo, as then he'll finally take the entry point there with the Caldeo. Double chance, looking for a takeaway here with the Celebi, and he'll land the energy ball. All right, but he has the double chance still, so let's see the spin and hex. So a missed opportunity there to try to get a takeaway. Now he'll move the Lucario. So if that Celebi gets knocked out, he can activate Mega Lucario. He'll activate Mega Lucario here. He might go after the Drift Flim now, now that he moved the Keldeo away. And that's exactly what he's going to do. And a bullet punch there against the Hex. So a knockout there. For that Mega Lucario, and this is looking all Achilles right now, trying to give Peru a one to nothing lead here, and give him an advantage to try to win this Group B here. Energy Ball once again, so that Celebi doesn't want to be knocked out. Back to back Energy Balls prevent it from being knocked out. As he'll slide over the Primal Kyogre, long throw, but long throw his Lunala out there. He'll attack the Caldeo, and he'll land, ooh, Mega Lucario will land the dodge there. Not exactly what you wanted. As he'll go right after that. Lunala and another energy ball. Three straight energy balls for that Celebi. That's got to be frustrating for Kala. We'll try to knock out that Celebi. As he'll move up with the Palplio. He'll slide, he'll attack again. Attack track versus the Psychic, but nothing will happen there. He can't move him to the match. Ooh, and he surround kills the Caldeo. This is looking very dangerous here now. As right, he'll get the Will O Wisp, but that will burn him. Take away his dodge. But that's just about it. As he'll move up his Lucario. Just trying to. Add a little bit of support here. He'll go right next to the Vibrava. He does have a Z move available, and he will Tectonic Rage that Palplio. As it will be a knockout there. So, a nice knockout there, keeping Khalil somewhat alive here. Doesn't activate the Flygon. He'll slide up with the Lucario, and he'll go and attack here. 
trying to get the knockout, and he will Will-O-Wisp, though. So an open opportunity for a knockout there, and he lands the Will-O-Wisp. It only burns him, though, so that's not going to do much, as he's going to activate the Mega Lucario here. Smart move, seeing that he was burned. And he will go for the attack, and if he knocks him out, this is all over. And this game is over! All he has the, is the Vibrava on the goal, with two, three movement points on the entry points. That is it. Achilles will take game one here for Peru, as they take a one to nothing lead. As we head to game number two here, we have... An attack versus Jose, which is named GL not tank. As an attack in the blue, Jose in the red. He moves out to Marshadow, countered by the Vibrava. Then he moves out defensively with Lucario. He'll bring out the Marshadow, which could be a threat if you try to go up and attack the Vibrava. It's, a, it's just a trap. So he'll move out the Lucario defensively. He'll activate the Mighty Sphere there. And he'll do exactly the same. Put the Mighty Sphere on the Lucario. So they're getting the same ideas from each other there. He moves out his Fracture to the middle. He'll move out his Kadabra. Countered by the Drifblim there. So a just a relatively normal start. Puts his Lunala on the entry point there. As an attack brings his Lunala up. Sees the uh, Gallade. And moves on back. This will allow for Jose to go and attack here. And a Will-O-Wisp. That'll burn the Marshadow. And so move out the Primal Kyogre. I would have jumped over and taken the entry point there, but Spectral Thief versus the Psychic. So no knockout there, or a knockout for Lunala. Oh, he couldn't jump because of Fraction. Never mind. A double chance here. With the Kadabra up against the Drift Limb. And he'll land the, uh, the Shadow Beam versus the Super Psy and the Teleport Beam. There it is. The exact move. Kadabra. I have to, I have to grab my charger for my laptop. As he will be able to now Evo to the Alakazam. We move up with the Lunala. No attack though. Max survives. Out the Marshadow. Moves it right to the middle there. Activates the Mega Alakazam here. See if he tries to form any attacks. He'll probably go after that Lunala. Nope, no attack. Interesting move there. I thought you would attack there. He'll now jump over the fracture and attack. He has the gold. And that's exactly how he'll knock him out. The psychic versus the guillotine. A knockout for Lunala for once there. As he'll go up with the Primal Kyogre, go and attack the Gallade. And... Origin Pulse. So looking for some misses there. None. I shall slide back with the Glade. He'll go and not attack there. I shall attack with the uh, with the Mega Alakazam though. Ooh, the Shadow Beam turning into a Hex wouldn't have mattered anyway. The Psychic will knock him out. You guys can go spam that number because that's a telemarketer. See a little attack here. Origin Pulse versus Night Slash. A 
And any knockouts? No. Okay. All out pummeling here. As he'll go and attack the other Marshadow, because Marshadow knows Marshadow is weak. As he'll knock him out. All out pummeling there. So a nice attack there for Jose. Trying to give Peru a 2 to nothing lead here. A commanding lead. Corkscrew, corkscrew crash. As that will knock out the uh, Marshadow there. As he'll just move right back to the goal. So that was a nice little move there for Lucario. Don't know why that just happened. Cool. Um, what? This is how we'll do it. As he will activate Mega Gallade. Teleport here. And so just move down in between the Al Alakazam and the. Aurora Sphere there for Lucario, which will knock out the Primal Kyogre, but that will send him just to regular Kyogre. Psychic Blade versus the Psychic. We'll get a knockout there for Mega Gallade. And so bring out the Drift Limb. He'll move on up with the Lucario. So bring up the Marsh Shadow. Max arrive with his Marsh Shadow. Threatening a surround kill here, so he has to watch out. Just move back one space. Twisted Spoon with the Alakazam. Slides over to the left one with the Fracture, and he'll attack with the Alakazam. Psycho Shift. So nothing there. He'll attack the Gallade. Looking for a takeaway. He will get it, though. So a nice takeaway there for uh, an attack. As he'll slide down two with Alakazam and attack the Fracture. Guillotine versus Psycho Shift. He'll go and attack with the Primal Kyogre against the Alakazam. And Psychic will knock out the Alakazam. Tectonic Rage will knock out the Primal Kyogre. Does he have the regular Kyogre there? Yes, he does have the regular Kyogre, and that's exactly what he'll just put it towards. <laughs> Smart move there. He will not activate the Flygon. Long throw here. See what that forces him to do. He'll activate the Mega Lucario here. <laughs> so basically ignoring that the Drift Bloom could have a free run at the goal. Maybe looking for a Aurora Sphere here against the Shadow Sneak. So no knockout for either one because the gold will prevent the Lucario from being knocked out. He'll move up with the Drift Limb. This could be threatening soon. As he'll Bullet Punch versus the Dodge. So a nice dodge there for that Marsh Shadow as he's just surviving here against this Mega Lucario. 
He'll move over with the Drift Blimp, forcing him to have to go block with the Marshadow. Maybe going for a knockout here and attack. Supersonic Sky Strike. And that's huge there, as this may be game. A knockout. Does he have a goal block? That is the question. He does have a goal block. He probably will with Lucario. Yep. And now allow him to move up with his Marsh Shadow. And this is threatening right here. This could be it. He'll scoop up. And surround kill. So no knockout or no game over yet. Unexpected error and an attack end up holding on there for the win as Peru or as India, my bad, ties up the game one to one here. As we will There we go. As we will head to game number three. India versus Champion. Or D Hunter, my bad, versus Champion. He'll slide over with by Bravo right out of the gate. So Champion running a triple li well, Lenaris, Lenaris deck. Going right after that Sceptile. Now he'll need a Moon Guys Beam, or he'll respin him. Ooh, that'll be a knockout, though. Grass Sphere with the Lorantis. Bring out his Sogaleo. And his Kangaskhan. Ula Ula Wish. Nope. So bring over his Marsha. He'll bring up the Lucario on the left side. The attack on the Kangaskhan. Double edge, but it dodge. So, and that double edge would not have knocked out Bulu because of his ability. Sucker Punch versus Ula Ula Wish. So once again, nothing happening. Quick attack versus a miss. So Sogaleo misses once again. Did I just freeze up my thing again? One second. Come on. I don't feel like we're starting this again. One second, guys. Side sinks a pain. Should be back up in about two seconds. If this wants to work at all. Sometimes side sync just doesn't want to work. And that's when it gets frustrating. Mm. We almost got it. We got it. Yep. All right, we're good now. 
Thank you for waiting, guys. <laughs> Quick attack there versus the miss. We already saw that. As he'll attack here. I think we're behind a couple seconds, but oh well. He'll move up with his Marshada. He'll bring up the Sceptile. He'll bring up the Lucario. Mega Lucario now. Trying to attack. If he lands the Aurora Sphere, I would imagine he would try to knock out one of the... Oh, that's not me. <laughs> Grass Sphere versus Aurora Sphere. Oh, he doesn't knock out one of the... He knocks out the Petalil. He'll double chance here. Up against the Alvarantis. Going for the uh, Bullet Punch. No, you don't want the Bullet Punch. You want the Aurora Sphere. Let's see if he'll land it, though. No, he'll land the dodge. That's better than the bullet punch for D Hunter there. Miss there. Lucky spin there for Hunter. As he'll go right back after that Lorantis. Once again, landing the dodge versus a pedal blitzer. Bloom Doom. Going up against the Marshadow, so that's a knockout. Nice knockout there for Champion. Champion. He'll go after the Lorantis one more time. And another dodge. So no Roar Spheres landed there for that for Hunter and his Mega Lucario. Very unfortunate spins for him there. As he'll go right after the Kangaskhan, and that, those Lorantises are beginning to be too much for his attacks there. Shattered Psyche. Then that will possibly knock out. Yes, it will. He gets the lucky spin with a quick attack there, unless that would have been a knockout. And I'll allow him to move up there. That was a huge move there. I see he'll attack. And the Psychic with the half damage is not enough there. Because he'll just take the entry point with the Lucario. Move down with the Lorantis. Countered with the Sogaleo. Lorantis will back up. That's a perfect matchup there for Hunters. That Sogaleo. At the very least you burn or you knock out the Lorantis. And that's a knockout there. It's a knockout of your Sogaleo, but worth it. You don't have... Oh. Grass Fear. That hurt. As he'll get caught up in the vibrating sound, allowing him to move out the Kangaskhan for defense. He's going to attack here. Land the Supersonic, so give him that basically automatic miss now. Now being confused. He doesn't have much to worry about now. He'll go after the... No, he won't go after Laurentis. Bloom Doom. Against the Mars Shadow. So that'll be a knockout there. Here we have a one-to-one -one game between India and Peru. Group B championship on the line. Aurora Spear there. Finally, he gets an Aurora Spear for Hunter there. And he'll knock out the one who has the sphere on him. That's how long throw, though. So I don't know if that was a smart move there. That's who. As the Lancers, once again, will get caught up in the vibrating sound. Dragon Breath versus Solar Blade. So not what you wanted there for Hunter. Searing Sunray Smash. As he'll get the knockout there. Keeping him alive here in this game. Sending him to the Ultra Space. He'll move over with the Tapu Hulu. Attack, Sucker Punch versus Smash, which will be a knockout here, even though with only one Lorantis on the field. He'll go after the... He won't go after a Petalil. He'll move... 
the Marsh Shadow right behind the Lunala. I'll, I'll take the entry point there with the Marsh Shadow. Bulu moving down there as he'll counter by bringing out the Lucario. See if he'll bring over the Lunala. No, he'll bring. He'll try to attack probably with the Lunala. Unexpected error. All right, as Hunter end up winning that game for India, and India takes a two to one lead here, trying to take Group C or B. Wow. We have Janil versus Jorge, two great players, a great matchup here. Two of the top 25 players heading into this tournament here. Janil coming in ranked number one. Destiny came in number two. Jorge, I think, came in top 20. We have Janil in red, Jorge in blue. He'll air balloon with the Vibrava. I'll bring out the Caldeo. And so counter by bringing Vibrava right in the middle. Slides down with Mew on the left side, which Janil does. 4,394. And he brings out the Necrozma here to counter that Keldeo. Janil brings out the Kangaskhan. Slides over with the Altaria. And Janil just slides and plays defense with the Necrozma. And Jorge has the guard of ours, so maybe those can play somewhat of a role in this game. Right. He'll activate Mega Gardevoir here. Try to go for the banished here of Lucario. Aurora Sphere, so no, that'll be a knockout there of the Mega Gardevoir. Jorge, trying to tie it up for Peru here. Give him a chance to win this group. There's a slide over there. Mega Lucario here. Going up against the Gardevoir. And he will attack. The spin going down right now. And a super side versus a bullet punch. So a knockout, but the Mega Lucario is confused. Means the chance of him landing a Aurora Sphere are very slim now, or much less. So he'll have to land the dodge. Moon Guys Beam versus the Hydro Kick. So a nice spin there from the Necrozma. I would imagine he would just Moon Guys Beam. There it is, the Kangaskhan. Double chance with the Mega Lucario going up against the Necrozma. Aurora Sphere to the Bullet Punch. That won't be enough to knock him out, though. He'll need the dodge to the Aurora Sphere. He'll land the Bullet Punch to the dodge, though. So nothing happening there. The dodge just neutral is out. As he'll just slide back with that Altaria. Moves back with the Keldeo. As Necrozma goes right in front of the Mega Lucario. As Janelle brings down his Keldeo. He'll double chance with the Necrozma. Going up against the Luna uh, Lucario. Moon Guys Beam though. Versus Dodge. So no double chance there. So now he will attack the Vibrava with the Keldeo and get the knockout. As this is beginning to be a little bit where Janil is starting to take over. As the Menacing Moon Rays Maelstrom will knock, uh, send that Lucario to the Ultra Space. So helping out Jorge a little bit there. But Janelle starting to uh, play, put a little bit of pressure on. So he'll activate the Mega Lucario here, Jorge. 
as he'll attack the Vibrava. And dodge versus Dragon Breath. So anything other than the dodge would have resulted in a knockout there. Now the Tectonic Rage goes down. He has to, okay. Smart move there. I was going to say he would have to avoid the bullet punch, but he goes after the Altaria instead and knocks him out there. So nice move there by Janelle. That's why he's one of the best in the game, if not the best in the game. He will not activate the Flygon. That's just something you throw in there. He'll take the entry point with the Caldeo. Recycles here. He gets back his Lucario, and this is looking to be all Janil now as he's going to start to suffocate here. Long throw, though. As he'll activate the Mega Lucario here to go up, Pickens probably Lucario. Try to get that knockout. This can force India. Basically, if India wins this game, this is basically clinched the uh, group for them. So I think they have the better record. Peru needs the win versus India. As they'll activate the Magic Gardevoir. Air Balloon. Oh, smart move here. He's going to go for the attack. If he knocks him out, this could be game. Aurora Sphere versus Dodge. So no knockout. But a huge threat of game here. Air Balloon. As he'll just uh, play extra defense there. That's all he can really do. As this is starting to be... He's going to start to suffocate here. As there's going to be a double chance. He's going to try to go for the banish of this Caldeo. Warpole. Versus Sacred Sword. He will respin. Blue Hole. Will he banish? That is the question. He will, even though it means banishing himself. And he can simply move the Vibrava to the entry point. So this is not looking good for Jorge here. Looking for a desperation knockout. No, a dodge. As Janil will max survive out his Angus Khan here. As another attack here, trying to knock out this. And a dodge versus a dodge. So this is beginning to be worse and worse for Jorge here. As Janil keeps moving down his Kangas Khan. Menacing Mal Malray's Malstorm, whatever. To knock out this. Kangaskhan, if he landed that gold, that would have been game over. So, he'll send the Kangaskhan to the Ultra Space. As Janil will move up with his Necrozma, and this is ultimate pressure here. He'll attack here. Aurora Sphere versus the Metal Claw. And this, that's going to be game. That is going to be game over right there. He will move over the Lucario. And Janil takes a 3-1 to one lead for India. As they have clinched at least a tie here. As they will be going for the win. And the group. In this final game here. There are only five games. We have RJ versus Xbox. So... Actually, this is the final game. So India does get the win here. And then this is an eight and a half minute game. All right. So we have Xbox and the other guys, RJ. RJ starts by bringing out his Marshadow, countered by the Gardevoir, Primal Kyogre. Brings out the Kabuskin. Brings out the... Fracture and then countered by Primal Kyogre. He plays defense with the Lucario as our as Xbox brings out the Drift Loom countered by Mew. 
and he'll bring out the Mars Shadow attack here. Shadow Flip versus the Shadow Sneak, so a lucky spin there for I don't know who. <laughs> Both, I guess. That they didn't die. Aurora Sphere versus Dodge. So bring his Lunala down. Slides his Lunala over. Double chance here. Gonna try to get the Evo. As he'll double chance here. Looking for that Cyclone kick. Will he get it though? Yes, he will. Okay. So as Xbox trying to make this a clear India win. Trying to make them go up four to one. As uh, RJ is trying to make this a three to two game. Not as much of a blowout. Both these teams know who has already won, though. India won this game so far. They're just playing this last game right here. There was another game played, but they didn't record it for some reason, or they didn't record the game. Cyclone Kick, where Bahu won for India, so which gave them a 4-1 to one lead. So I'm going to just mark that real quick. Because that's what it said for what I was looking at. But they just never got the dual ID. So India looking for a 5-1 to one win. Psychic versus the Jet Kick. He moves up with the Lunala. Slides over with the Marsh Shadow. He's going to put the, Mar the Gardevoir right back in there because his ability won't let him to move to that entry point then. Max Revive with the Lucario. Will he go up against the Lunala? Nope. Max Revive there for the for Xbox. Bring out that Blaziken on the left side there. As he'll move the Mew back. He'll play defense with that Primal Kyogre though. They'll go and attack the Marsh Shadow before you can attack that Mew. Ooh, Spectral Thief, though, versus Dodge. So no knockout there. We'll just take the entry point of Lunala, and he'll attack here. Looking for that Moon Geist Beam, he will get it, too. So he'll knock out that oh, Lucario. As Xbox starting to take a little bit of control here for India. Shattered Psyche. As that will knock out the Mars Shadow. And be able to allow him to take the entry point if he wants to. Because that Shattered Psyche allows you to move three movement points. He'll go right in the middle there. Not a smart move. That'll get him surround killed. So just taking the entry point. He'll move up with the Primal Kyogre. As he'll bring up the blaze again. No attack, though. As he'll just bring out defensively Fracture. Xbox will rush a little bit with his Drift Limb. Countered by the Marsh Shadow going for the attack here. Dodge versus Takeaway. Don't know what he was doing there. He'll bring over the Primal Kyogre onto the goal. As he'll attack again. Is he trying to get taken away? He's, the only way he's going to win is the takeaway versus the gold. So. so bring back the Primal Kyogre. Super Psy versus his 161. So that will confuse him though. Which will allow him, which will... Convince Xbox to attack him there. That's outland the dodge though. The hydro pump goes to the dodge. He'll need the origin pulse that'll go to a miss. He threatens the surround kill. Menacing. I so go. Ooh, this is gonna send that Lunala to the Ultra Space. This could be deadly. This could force a little bit of a, more of a rush here and force 
RJ to play more defense. He's simply going to go block with the Marshadow there. He'll attack the Marshadow with the Lunala. Ooh, dodge though. So that helps him just try to catch up with everything. Allows him to apply a little bit more defense. He'll attack the with the Primal, the Blazing and Primal, Primal Kyogre. Wow, I'm just 40 minutes into the video. Great matchup, though, so far between India and Peru. It's 4-1 India though, right now. They're looking to take a 5-1 win here against Peru. Moon Guy's Beam. That'll knock out the Marsh Shadow. He'll go block here with Primal Kyogre. That'll probably make him bring up the Blaze again here. Try to go for the Cyclone Kick to get that knockout. And that's exactly what he'll get. So, threatening of game here. Xbox trying to win it right here. He does have the Menacing Maelstrom or Never Ending Nightmare. I would have gone with the other move, but okay, that would have been an automatic sent to the Ultra Space. Miss, though. That's costly. He could have won the game right there, but that miss... As I think that'll give a minus one movement mar point marker to that drift limb. Actually, the, the takeaway here would be big if he attacked. No attack, though. Takeaway would send him to the. Send Lunala to his PC, and he won't move because of Lunala's ability. Because he'll bring down the Marsh Shadow. He'll slide that Lunala over to attack the. Blaze again, though. Jet kick versus the Moon Geist Beam. So a huge knockout there. And that's game. He'll slide that Blaze again. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Lunala won't allow that. He'll move over with the... As he'll get rid of the minus one movement point marker there. He'll have to try to knock out this Marsh out of here. Unless that's game. And that is all over. Xbox will win the game and give India the 5-1 to one win over Peru. So a dominating performance there by India. After losing game one, they take the last five. So let's take a look at group B now. India, with their win, wins the group. They will go on to play the group C runner-up. AKA the loser of the next game coming up, which is Japan and Europe. The uh, then Peru will play the is the runner up the group. They will play the Group C winner, AKA the winner of Japan and Europe. And then India and Malaysia, or Indi Italy and Malaysia, are eliminated from this group. So we have our group winner here. It is India. And Peru, these two teams were projected in the top two pre-tournament. Just like in this group, the top two were projected to win. So, so far, we've yet to see anyone who hasn't supposed to make it, make it yet. But that's going to do it for this matchup. The final score, India 5, Peru 1. You guys have been watching the 2019 Pokemon Duel World Cup. I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.